Hello and good morning, everybody. Welcome to our Friday live session. It's absolutely lovely to have you here. I don't know about you, I've been looking at the chat. I know it's raining uh, for some people. It's also pouring with rain here in the UK, absolutely teeming down. Um, great for the garden, um, but if you want to get out and about, not so great. But I'm here to bring you some sunshine. Uh, we're going to do our live Pilates sessions. Did you know we're here every week live? And today we are doing a full body stretch session. So all I want to say to you before we start is do what feels right for you. If anything does not feel right in this session, don't do it because I'm going to try and give you something for all different levels of flexibility and mobility. Some might be okay. Some might feel, oh, I'm not sure. So just listen to your body, do what you can. And I'll do my best to give you options where there are some. Okay. So without further ado, let us begin our exercise and I'll come and chat to you at the end. Okay. Here we go then. So we're going to start standing and you're going to have the feet hip width apart. You're going to draw the tiny muscles in and you're just going to rest your hands down by your side. And we're going to work down through the body today. Okay, so you can use this as a warm up. You can also use it as a cool down. All right, so here we go, standing nice and tall. Let's take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to tilt your head over to the side. And then you're going to come back up. And then you're going to go the other way over and come back up. So the idea is we're stretching through the neck and into the shoulders and up and over and up. Now you're gonna turn and look to your right, rotating in that neck and back to center and the other way over and back to center, over and back to center and over and back to center. Now you're gonna tilt the head over to the right. This time we're gonna rotate and look down towards the floor. So you're gonna feel the stretch coming down through the neck and into the shoulder now. Then you're gonna roll that head down around to the other side. You're gonna turn your face to the front and come up. Let's go back the other way. We're going to do a tilt and a turn. Then we're going to roll the head down, around to the side, face to the front and up. Once more each way, tilt and turn. And roll that head down, around to the side, face to the front and up and tilt and turn. And take that head down, around to the side, face to the front and up. Shoulders are going to go up, back and around. Up, back and around. Up, back and around. And up, back and round. You're going to lift those arms out, place the hands on your shoulders now. Now bring your elbows together, lift them up and reach them back. You're trying to feel the stretch across the chest now. So going up and back, up and back, up and round. So just breathing naturally, breathe however feels good for you today. So we're just going to focus on mobilizing and stretching out that body too. Good. One. Well done. Now let the shoulders rest down. Reach your arms out to the side. You're going to bring them forward. Cross them at the front and then swing them back. Other way. Crossing over and back. Cross and back. Cross and back. Four, three, two, one, 
and bring those arms down. Okay, so should be feeling quite warm in the shoulders. So what we're gonna do now is a stretch. I'm gonna turn my back to you so you can see. So you're gonna copy me, you're gonna bring your right arm up and take it behind your head. Then you're gonna bring your left arm up as well and you're gonna bend at the elbow and you're gonna try and reach towards that right hand and at the same time, reach down. So you may find you can only get to here. If that's you, that's absolutely fine. If you feel you can get a little further, you're gonna take hold of those fingers. All right, and you're gonna hold it there and draw this right elbow back. That's it, and just hold that stretch. and release. So we're gonna do the other side, okay? So I'll stay facing away so you can just mirror me. So left hand, right hand, reaching up, taking hold of those fingers if you can. As you can see, I'm a little tighter on my left shoulder. And then we're gonna draw that left arm back and hold it here. Nice deep breaths. Well done, kids. And Ankelly, lovely. Okay, I'm gonna go sideways so you can see what we're gonna do next. Okay, so you're gonna take your hands behind you. You're gonna interlace your fingers. And I want you to reach those arms out. Okay, and try and lift them so you're feeling that stretch in the chest. And then from here, we're gonna bend our knees. We're gonna keep the tummy in and we're gonna to start to take that body forward. And we're going forward, forward, as far down as you can, folding over the legs if you're able, and take those arms overhead if you can. Let that head just hang down there. And then you're gonna release the hands, take a breath in and breathe out and unroll that spine all the way up. Should we try that again? So take your hands behind you interlace your fingers, reaching out. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is just try and get that little lift there. And if you feel that's enough for you, you can stay there. If you want to add the fold, you're gonna bend your knees first of all. Think of your back staying straight, tummy in, and you're just moving, hinging forwards from the hips. Okay, and at any point you can stop when you feel it's enough for you. If you want to go all the way down, then you're folding the body over the knees, letting the head hang. All right, then you're going to try and bring those arms a little further over. Release those hands, take a deep breath in, and exhale, coming all the way up. We'll do it one more time. So hands behind you, interlace the fingers, and reaching out. That's it. Then you're going to bend the knees and we're going to hinge forward from the hips, hinging forward, folding the body over the legs, letting the head come down so the neck is relaxing and then see if you can bring your arms over any more. Release the hands, take a deep breath in and exhale, coming all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna do a little rotation movement now, including the roll down. So what we'll do is take a deep breath in. You're gonna exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees and rolling down. Keeping the knees bent, you're gonna place your hands directly in front of your feet. Okay, so you bend your knees as much as you need to to get your hands on the floor. For some of you, you might find that that is enough of a stretch and that's absolutely fine. Okay, and then what you're going to do from here is you're going to take your right arm out to the side. And then you're going to turn your rib cage, turn your head, your chest to look towards that right hand. And then you're going to try and take that right hand up towards the ceiling. So you're feeling a deep stretch there. And if you want to take the stretch further, you're going to try and straighten your right leg, just your right leg. 
and you'll feel that all the way through your hamstring. Good. And then you're going to come down nice and slowly and let's go on to the other side. So left hand goes out to the side. It's like an aeroplane wing. And then you're going to turn. You're rotating the chest, the head to look up towards that hand, feeling that stretch. And if you want to stretch further, you're going to straighten your left leg. Getting that nice stretch there. That's it. And then coming all the way down, so bending both knees. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's unroll the spine all the way up. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. So take a breath in. Exhale, chin to the chest, bending the knees. And folding forward, placing the hands on the floor. And it'll be easier this time. Okay, so here we go. Right arm straight out to the side. Rotating your chest. Turning your head to look up towards that hand. Okay, as much rotation as you can. And then if you want to stretch further, you're going to straighten your right leg. Just your right leg. Your left leg will stay bent. That's it. Three, two, one. And then coming all the way down. It's quite intense, isn't it, that one? And then left arm out to the side. And let's start to rotate that chest. That's it, the head turning to look up towards your left hand. And then those that want to can straighten that left leg. Get that nice stretch there. Good. Bending the knee, coming all the way down. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Unrolling the spine all the way up. Well done. Okay, I know that's quite intense for you. So we're going to do a nice stretch through the abdominals now. So what I want you to do is take your right foot behind you like so. Okay, and you're up on the toes. Hopefully you can see that. You're going to then interlace your fingers and take your hands up above your head. Okay, and you're going to turn your hands away from you like this, okay? And take the hands up. And then from there, I want you to lean over towards that side, okay? So you're leaning over towards your left side. And then I want you to see if you can lower that back heel down. And that's going to intensify that stretch. Okay, and you're going to hold it here. Try to find a stretch through the front of the body, through the abdominals, good. And then coming up, bring those hands down and let's step the other way. So taking the other leg behind you, okay. Interlace your fingers, hands are gonna go up and now we're gonna stretch over to the side. So find that stretch and then lower that back heel down. You should be feeling the stretch somewhere between the hips, the ribs, through the front of the body here, okay? Well done, and come on up, lovely stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go down onto the floor now. All right, so let's start at the end of our mats, let's do a roll down. So we're gonna tuck our tummy under, take a breath in, Breathing out, we're going to do chin to the chest, bending the knees, rolling down towards the floor, placing the hands on the floor. I want you to keep your heels down and walk your hands forward. I want you to straighten the legs as soon as you can. So you're starting initially with a stretch of the calf, so it's not a full up stretch yet. All right, you're going to hold it here. Just press your chest towards your thighs. You're getting that stretch through the lower part of the legs while the heels are down. Then you're going to walk forward and your heels will need to lift now. Okay, and then from there, we're going from our plank position into our up stretch, pressing the chest towards the thighs. Let's lower those heels down, lift those heels up, and then come back into your plank position. And again, up, 
lower the heels, lift the heels, and plank position one more, and up, and lower the heels, lift the heels, come down to your plank position, bring your right knee in, and bring your left knee in. So we're now in a nice kneeling position. Okay, a little bit of stretch through the lower back. So you want to make sure your hands are right underneath your shoulders. Okay, got a neutral position uh, with your lower back. Upper back, I'd like it a little extended. Okay, and then from there, keeping that position, you're just gonna hinge back from the knee. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch in your lower back. It's also gonna work the knee joints. So if your knees are uncomfortable, then obviously modify it. If it doesn't feel right, then don't do it. Okay, but you can go anywhere between just a little rock and back here, or you can sit all the way back on the heels and come up. Take it back and up two more. Take it back and up and take it back and up. Now those that feel comfortable on their knees, you're gonna widen your knees now. Okay, so take them out. I want your feet together, your knees apart, and now I want you to sit back. You're gonna feel a stretch through your pelvis. Okay, and then if you're able to and you're comfortable, you can slide those hands down, take the head down into a nice stretch on the floor here. The idea being you're trying to get your chest towards the mat. Okay. And just holding it here. Well done. Okay, and then from there, you're going to lift your left hand up and put it on top of the right hand. Okay, and just go down again so you feel that stretch coming through the left hand part of the body. If this is too much, you can do this in a higher position here. Okay. Holding it here. Just finding that stretch. So we're not going to hold them for too long. So I want to keep the stretches quite active this morning. Take the left hand out to the side, right hand on top, and then sinking down, finding that stretch in the body, thinking of the bottom, trying to get towards the heels. Get and then bring the hands back, come on up, and let's bring those knees back into alignment. Let's come on up into a kneeling position. Okay, and we're gonna draw the tummy in, we're gonna tuck the tailbone under, and you're gonna reach your arms out. So we're gonna stretch the thighs now. Okay, so we wanna keep that spine nice and still, arms out like so, and then you're going to inhale, Taking yourself back, feel the stretch in your thighs, exhale to come up. So you're inhaling back, exhaling up. Inhaling back, exhaling up. Inhale back and exhale up. Inhale back and exhale up. One more, inhale back and exhale up. Now I want you to take your hands behind you and I want you to put them on the back of your pelvis. I want you to draw your elbows back and think of just lifting the head and looking up towards the ceiling. You're trying to find a stretch through the front of the body and come up. Now you can either stay there or if you want to, to increase that stretch, you can take your hands down the legs walking them down towards your feet, your heels, and do your stretch there. And then slowly walking back up. Well done, okay. So from there, what we're going to do is take our right foot forward. We're going to make sure the forward, uh, the uh, ankle, sorry, is forward of the knee. And then you're just going to gently lunge forward. So we're finding the stretch now in our left thigh or the front of our left hip. Okay. 
So think about tummy muscles in, feeling that nice stretch through the body. Then we're going to come back, we're going to take our fingertips to the floor, walk the hands back, we're going to try and keep the toes down for now, but we want to really stretch out the back of this leg. So we're trying to straighten this leg, we're on our fingertips, so we're trying to also extend through the back. In other words, straighten the back. So think of chest or heart moving forward. Well done, then you're going to bend that knee, you're going to place the hands on the inside of that foot, taking that foot away. Come on up. Let's go do that on the other side. All right. So just looking at the alignment of your body, hips square, and then we're going to go forward. Finding that stretch in the front of the right hip, shoulders are down, tummies in. It. Just taking some deep breaths. Good. And then bring those fingertips down, extending and straightening that left leg and finding the stretch here. So we're just on those fingertips and we're extending through the upper part of the back, finding that nice stretch there in the body, toes down, well done, good. And then you're gonna come forward, hands on the inside and take yourself down. Okay, here comes the nice bit, you get to lie down now. Okay, so you're gonna lie down on your back and we're gonna do some stretches here. Okay, so we're gonna send the left leg along the floor, we're gonna bring the right leg up, hands behind that right thigh, and then you're going to lower the foot and you're going to extend and lift and straighten as much as feels right for you. So it's about finding the stretch that works for you. And lift. We're going to lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift and lower. And lift. And lift, let's do the calf. So flexing the foot, pointing the toes. Flexing the foot, pointing the toes. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. And flex and point. Let's circle the ankle out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and in two three four five six seven and eight now i want you to turn that foot inwards so you feel the stretch on the outside of the lower leg uh, if you've had any hip work then you won't do the next bit of the exercise you'll stay here if the hips are fine i want you to gently take the leg across the center line. So it's going over to the left until you feel that stretch coming down the side of the body there. Well done. Straighten the foot up. Bring the leg back to the center. Now let's turn that leg out in the hip. Let's walk our hands up slightly. If you can reach the knee or maybe the calf. Take your left hand out to the side, and now that right foot, that right leg is going out to the side. And you're trying to find the stretch on the inner thigh there. Well done, bring that leg back. Let's take it down and place the toes next to the other uh, knee. And you're going to put your left hand over that knee, right hand out to the side. And now I want you to take that knee over. So you're going to tuck this foot around uh, the kneecap, or the back of the knee, should I say. And we're trying to find now the stretch in the lower back. So we're pressing down on this knee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale as you press down. 
Inhale to release. Exhale to press down. Inhale, release. And last one, exhale to press down. Inhale to release and come back. Let's send that leg down and let's pick up the left leg. Hands underneath. So you're going to inhale to lower. Exhale to extend. Inhale to lower. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And lower and lift. Now let's flex the foot and point the toes. Flex the foot and point the toes. Flex the foot and point the toes and flex and point. Now you're gonna turn that foot inwards. So we're feeling the stretch on the outside of that lower leg. And then if you want to, you can take that leg across the body. So you're getting that stretch going down the side of that leg. It's a nerve stretch, this one. So it might feel a little bit different to your other stretches, as long as it's okay. That's fine, good. And let's straighten that foot up, bring the leg back to the center. Let's turn that leg out. Let's walk the hands up. So left hand's gonna hold on somewhere around the knee or the thigh, uh, knee or the uh, calf muscle, sorry. Right hand out to the side and then take that leg out to the side. Super. And then coming back, let's bend that knee and bring that foot next to the other one. And then you're going to gently take that knee over. So we're going to put right hand on that knee, taking it over so it's a lower back stretch. Reach your left hand out and just take it as far as feels nice for you. You might find you get a stretch in the shoulder as well. I do always on this side. Uh, and then just take a deep breath in and exhale, pressing down. Deep breath in and exhale, pressing down. And two more deep breath in and down. And last one. And then rolling back onto your back, I want you to bring both legs up. And what I want you to do is to cross your ankles, whichever way feels fine or natural for you. Put your hands on your knees, and then I want you to pull your knees. So you're pulling them either side of your ribs or in that direction. Okay, so you're gonna inhale. And as you exhale, draw them in. Inhale. Exhale, drawing in, and inhale, exhale, drawing in. All right, so let's place our feet down. Let's come into our Pilates neutral position lying down. Let's take the hands down by our side, and we're going to do our pelvic curl. So we're going to take a breath in. We're going to breathe out to tilt the pelvis, press into the feet, lifting up, peeling up, pushing up through the legs. You're going to stay there and you're going to inhale to reach your arms overhead and exhale to bring them back. Inhale to reach them overhead and exhale, bring them back. Inhale to reach overhead and exhale back. And one more, inhale to reach overhead and exhale back, take a deep breath in, exhale coming down through that spine. And once you're down, I want you to pick up your right foot and place it across your left knee. Now you can stay in this position and just gently press out on that right knee. If you want to make it a little more intense, you can lift the left foot up or left leg up, 
Take the hands around the thigh and draw that thigh towards you. And at the same time, press into that leg with the right elbow. So you can feel this is deep into the hip now. Good, let's release that and let's change sides. So going on to the other side. So turning that leg out first of all and either pressing down on it here or lifting it up, taking the hands around, pulling that leg towards you and then pressing into that leg with the elbow. You feel that deep, deep stretch there. Wonderful. All right, come on up from there and let us finish today with a nice back extension. Okay, so we're going to go on to our front. We're going to have the elbows down and the legs apart. Just check in with those shoulders that they are also down. You're not feeling any tension in the neck. And then you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out. We're going to start to lift the head and chest far as you're able. If you feel you can, you want to, you can press into the hands and go all the way up into that lovely back extension. Then take a deep breath in and exhale, coming all the way down. Again, deep breath in, exhale. So shoulders relax. Head and chest are lifting, tummy muscles pulling in, coming all the way up. Good. Take a deep breath in and exhale all the way down. And last one, deep breath in. Exhale, shoulders draw down, extending through that body, lifting up. Inhale and exhale, coming all the way down. Well done. From there, hands under shoulders, push yourself up, and you're just going to come and sit facing me. So we've stretched pretty much everything. The only thing we haven't done is mobilize the wrists and the ankles. So I'm going to add that to the end of our session today. Okay, so you're just going to sit in a comfortable position. Hopefully you can see my feet just about. And so let me move back a little bit for you. Okay, so what you're gonna do is circle the feet out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other way in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then from there, sitting however you want. I sit like this because it's comfy for me, but whatever you wanna do. Same with the wrists, so let's have those hands out. Let's circle out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, well done. Coming into your kneeling position, we're gonna come up to finish. Okay, so nice position there with the body. Lengthen out through the spine. Let's take the right leg back, the left leg back, and then lift up into your up stretch. And then we're gonna try and push that chest towards the thighs. Okay, as much as you're able, really good stretch of the shoulders there. And then lower the heels, you'll feel the stretch through the lower legs. And then walk your hands back towards your feet. Taking a deep breath in, you're gonna breathe out, draw the tummy muscles in, and slowly come all the way up through the spine. Well done. And that's your session for today. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, everyone, I'll come and talk to you now. So if you need to go to work, I totally get it. Do press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And if any of you have got any questions or you just want to say hello, now's your opportunity. Uh, 
this is the one time in the week where I set aside time just for you. So I know lots of you send me messages and I really appreciate those messages. And I'm sorry if I've not replied to you on YouTube. Um, I do get a lot of messages now, so I'm always running behind. But if you do have a burning question, then this is the time to fire those uh, questions over. Okay, so um, before I forget, uh, thank you, my dear. Kerwin's just brought me in uh, my notes for today. Thank you. And donations. Oh, Doggy's coming in. Do you want to come in? Okay, you go sit down in your chair. Um, don't forget, press the like button, do subscribe. And if you could share this with any friends that you have who you think that might enjoy it, I'd really appreciate that because we're trying to kind of get the channel bigger so I could devote more time to it. And I know all of you are wonderful. You always help. Um, so anything like that you can do be really appreciated. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the session today. Do let me know what you think because I'm now looking at the chat. Um, what I want to do today, uh, what I want to uh, do as a contrast to last week, because last week we did a very high energy class and that class has been so popular. I think I had something like 600 likes within that day of doing it. So I know that that is a class that people like, people like that work. So I have also recorded for you yesterday. In fact, my body is aching today from doing it. I've filmed a shorter uh, standing workout, which I'm going to edit over this weekend. And that will be out on Monday. So just a little note to you, I'm going to change some of the um, front of my YouTube page, but I am trying to do a video upload every Monday. It goes out at 5.30 p.m. on a Monday, UK time. And obviously, you can watch that whenever you want. I try and be live for five or ten minutes before if I'm free and not teaching. And then, of course, we do our absolutely completely live uh, session on a Friday. So if you wanted to do something exciting and do a mix, you could do today's stretch after the session we did last week, because the two go together really well. What we did today is a great standalone session, but it also works really well if you're adding it on to the end of a run or a cycle ride or a dance class or, you know, whatever it might be. Okay, so I'm just going to have a look at the chat now and see what people are saying. Tony, thank you very much, Tony Bryans, for your donation. Um, Tony says, Rachel, that was perfect. Love this. Thank you, and Kerwin, for moderating. Yes, he's very good at moderating, isn't he? He does that very well. Thank you, Tony. Um, right, so I'm just going to go up the chat a little bit just so I can see how uh, what people thought of the class. Uh, Kieran, hello, Kieran. Good morning. Kieran says, thank you so much. Enjoyed it. Sue Sambles, good morning, Sue. Great stretch class. Valerie Beal, hello, Valerie, says that was truly great. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, you're very, very welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Helen Lees, that was brilliant, Rachel. A super stretch, just what I needed for my tight hips. You've set me up for the day. Thanks. Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Glad to hear it, Helen. Um, good. Yes, yeah, sometimes you just need that stretch, don't you? It just feels great. Uh, Annika, Annika B. Hello, Annika B. So thank you so much. This routine was lovely and relaxing. Good. That's what I wanted to do today was give you a contrast to last week. And those of you that come every week, you know I try and do something different every week, which uh, involves a lot of brain power, actually, trying to think up new ideas and new routines and all that stuff. But I do love doing it for you. So, yes, today was a really good contrast to last week. So if you do want to do a combo or you feel like I could do an hour, you could do the half hour standing from last week plus a half hour stretch from today. And that was really be a good session, I can tell you. Uh, Karina Perry, hello, Karina. Thank you so much for your emails, by the way. I think I replied to you yesterday. I hope I did. Uh, much appreciated about the spammer. Um, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for them. So Karina Perry says, many thanks from Mallorca. 
just what I needed to release really tension from busy days. Iced coffee coming. Oh, how lovely. Iced coffee. Thank you very much, Karina. And uh, yes, wishing you all the best in Mallorca. I hope it's... Um, I hope it's lovely weather over there. I always think of Mallorca. I've been there a few times. Beautiful island, um, really beautiful. And the weather's always so nice. Um, so yes, I hope you have a lovely day, Corina. Anne from London. Hello, Anne. Anne says, nicely stretched. Thank you for bringing the sunshine, Rachel. Really great session. Have a good weekend all. Well, thank you, Anne. You have a lovely, lovely weekend as well. Before I forget uh, early donations today, I must say thank yous to Yvonne Thorpe. Thank you very much, Yvonne. You see, I've got my piece of paper with Kerwin's notes on. Uh, Ruth Enright. Hello, Ruth. Lovely to see you here. Has donated. Susan Eisenbach has donated. Margaret Quinlan has donated. And Anne Hillier. Thank you all of you very much indeed. And I'm just going to say uh, a quick hello to Helen Lees. Helen Lees. Hello, Helen. Helen says, first time having followed you for a year. Oh, first time live is that, I think, having followed you for a year. Loved your 40-minute full body workout. Oh, great. I'm really pleased, Helen. Yes, everyone, just a reminder, I have had uh, quite a lot of requests for longer sessions as well as the shorter ones. So I filmed and uploaded this Monday just gone, so it'll be right at the beginning on your YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel, sorry, a 40-minute uh, Pilates session. And I would call it mixed, mixed ability. So it's, it would work for beginners. It's also ideal for beginners plus and intermediate. Um, it's got sort of something for everyone in it, but it's a full 40 minute session. So if you feel that you're ready to commit to 40 minutes and you wanna switch off for 40 minutes and do some really mindful movement that'll really work your core, work your arms, your legs, your shoulders, your hips, everything, uh, then do go look for that workout. It's the 40 minute workout which has just been uploaded to the channel in fact I will give you the title of it because I've got it here um, on my session it's called 40 minute full body workout and it's a picture of me can you see that I don't know if you can see that there it's this one here it's a bit out of focus I think but it's called 40 minutes full body workout. All right. And that's a really nice session. If I do say so myself, I really enjoy doing it for my own body as well. So go check that out. And this week, as I said, I've got a standing session. It's a shorter one, but it's quite an energetic one. So if you want to do the standing work, that will be coming out on Monday evening. Okay. So moving down the chat. Um, Lily Mars. Hello, Lily. Lovely to see you. Lily's in Spain as well. That was a great workout. My shoulders loved it. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it because, yeah, we did lots of shoulder opening work because I'm noticing myself having been in lockdown now for whatever it is, 15 months or something. Uh, my shoulders have been sort of starting to <laughs> move in this direction on my back has. So I'm adding or I'm adding in lots of work into all my workouts right now to stretch across the chest and really open up and work the upper back. OK, because we all want to get back out there, don't we? And we want to be fit and able when we do. All right. So um, thank you very much, Lily. Glad you enjoyed it. Yvonne Woodhouse. Good morning, Yvonne. Yvonne says, really great. Thank you. Just what I needed. I have felt so stiff this week. So this has helped so much. Oh, lovely. I'm really glad, Yvonne. Good, yeah, and remember everyone, these uh, these videos, they stay on the channel. So if you if there's one that you enjoy, make a note of the date or the name of it and go back and do it again because you don't necessarily have to listen to the chat the second time, although of course you can, but you know it's always th the first 30 minutes of the, the uh, video is the workout. So you always think, oh, I'll do that stretch one again pop back and do it again, okay? Uh, Yvonne Thorpe, hi Yvonne, says, love this, love stretching exercises. Yeah, they do feel good, don't they? Um, I feel like you get a kind of almost like an internal 
feeling of warmth when you stretch because you know all your muscles have really been worked, but not that they've been worked, but you've released that tension in the muscles, which is very important. Um, I think a lot of us don't realize how much tension we can build up in our bodies, you know, just from sort of sitting at your dining table like this on your laptop, which is what I do a lot of the time. Um, or yes, just being in a kind of a fixed position for a long time, you can start to build up real tension in certain parts of your body. So very important to do those uh, stretches. Good, Anne White. Anne says, thank you. That was a fabulous session. Realized just how tight my neck was. Feels so much better. Good. I'm really glad. Yes, neck was well. Necks get very, very, very tight. And you know what? When your neck gets tight and the muscles here, either side of your neck, the trapezius muscles get tight, they tend to feed into the shoulders. And then that sort of contributes to this kind of rounded shoulder, head forward, posture uh, that a lot of people get. So on that note, I will be doing a video on head forward posture. Head forward posture is this, which lots of people have of every age. I see it in teenagers now because, you know, they spend so much time on their uh, iPhones or their tech or whatever. So we will be doing a video uh, on that coming up uh, in the near future. All right, thank you very much, Anne. Sandy McClure has donated. Thank you very much, Sandy. Says, thanks for that, just what I needed. Lovely, oh, lots of donations coming in. Thank you very much, everybody. Anne Butler, great stretches. Went to performance of Ballet Central last night. Young Dancers on Tour was excellent. So if you enjoy ballet, check out if they're coming near you. Thank you very much. Will do, Anne. Okay. Margaret Swan says, thank you so much, Rachel. That was one of my favorite stretch workouts with a good feel, but also a challenge. I'll do this one each day for a week. We'll donate later. Thanks again. You're very welcome, Margaret. Great to hear you're going to do those every day for the next week. Wonderful. Ruth Enright says, different and a great stretch session. Thank you, Ruth. Ranjit has donated. Thank you, Ranjit. Much appreciated. It says, thanks, Rachel. Brilliant. Enjoyed your recording from Monday, too. Keep it up. Good. You liked my 40-minute session. Well done. And you did it. Thank you, Ranjit. And Valerie Beal. Um, uh, oh, you're just talking to Kerwin. Yes, about our spammer. I've noticed that we're getting people spamming on the channel. So not that you have to do this, but if any of you happen to be doing one of my workout videos and you can see something random in there, like go and watch this video, those are what we call spammers. So they're people who try and um, get viewers by jumping into other people's channels or they're people that might be doing something inappropriate or that kind of thing. They call them spammers. Um, and I report them to YouTube when I know they're there. The problem is that these people are very clever and they kind of put things all over different videos. And if you've got 90 of videos, it's you can't keep track of all these sort of random things. So I know a few of you have sent me emails and I really appreciate that. Thank you. So if you see anything that looks a bit odd or it's someone asking you, sending you a message to go and watch another video, let me know. Those are people who are, they're not allowed to do that, basically. It's a breaking the guidelines of YouTube. So let me know and I'll just get them removed. But uh, thank you, uh, Valerie, um, for uh, noting that as well. Okay, Josie Briggs has donated this morning. And thank you very much, Josie, and a lovely wave. Hello, good morning to you. Uh, Josie says, that set me up well for the day. It was great. Many thanks. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Uh, Yvonne Woodhouse has donated. Thank you very, very much, Yvonne. I like your, um, is that a super sticker? That's quite cool. That thing you've got there on the side, is it new? That's very good. Thank you. I uh, really love that. Okay, so going down the chat now, Carol Neath has donated Thank you very much, Carol. Lovely to see you're here with us today. And I love our little uh, emojis. Are they hippos? They're really, they are, aren't they? They're really cute. I love those. I love it when you send the super stickers, everyone, because they just, they're just really cute. Um, hopefully you all can see them as well. They're just kind of fun. I like seeing what people pick and everything. So thank you very much, Carol. 
Karina Perry. Karina says, how about a session based on the movements of sweeping, hoovering, etc.? <laughs> I might do more if it was fun and also did not hurt afterwards. <laughs> uh, that's really, uh, that's funny. You know what that reminds me of? And I'm going to be revealing my age. Well, you all know my age anyway. But uh, when I was much younger, I was really into martial arts for, I had a thing about it. Uh, I think it was probably in my 20s. And uh, I remember watching The Karate Kid. I don't know if you've seen it, but the Karate Kid, it's where this young boy learns karate, but the way he's taught is not what he expected. And I think the chap's called Mr. Miyagi. He's absolutely brilliant, this chap that teaches him. And he gets him to wash the car and it's uh, and wax the car. And I think it's like he has to do something like wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, which is basically the movements of karate when you're kind of defending yourself because you have to kind of defend a punch coming towards you. So you would kind of do this. So Karina, maybe we need to come up with a Pilates version of cleaning and hoovering movements, but that sounds great fun. Uh, okay, oh, thank you for lifting that. That was really uh, good fun. Carol Mee says, yet another great session, Rachel. Thank you so much. I really enjoy the time out of the day on Fridays to see what you have in store for us. Oh, you're very welcome, Carol. I have to say there is something, isn't there, I think great about doing this live, because you know that I'm live, so you know anything can happen. Uh, and sometimes it does, doesn't it? Um, but also it's that sense that we are all here together. And I think something that I've noticed that's really made a difference for me during the whole of this crazy lockdown we've had, this COVID pandemic, is knowing that you're all there with me at this time of day. And I'm hoping and I'm reading that that's how you feel as well. So even if we're not literally in the same room, we are all here together. Um, and because that's so nice, and I know everyone loves the idea of a live class because we're all working out at the same time. And I think it was about 200 people today doing it. We will just keep it going for as long as you keep coming. So thank you very much indeed, Carol. Yes, well, I'll think up something new for you for next week. Uh, Janet Nolan, hello, Janet, good morning. Janet says, thanks, Rachel, a much needed stretch this morning. Uh, very good. Terry. Hello, Terry. Terry says, hi, Rachel. Sun here in Scotland for a change. Can you give recommendation exercises for tight hamstrings, please? Yes, I can, Terry. So um, if you want to do a video, this we did today, by the way, had a lot of hamstring stretches in. So I would say repeat this video from today. If you want to do something shorter, I've got stretches, uh, a stretch video is one of my oldest videos. It's only 10 minutes for lower back stretches. Um, it's sorry, for lower back pain or stretches for lower back pain. And that is all hamstring related. The best hamstring stretches to do, uh, Terry, are ones where you feel completely in control of the stretch and you can stretch to what degree you like. So that's lying down like this. Uh, we did this in class today. Having the leg here, keeping this leg in position. So in other words, don't let the leg move away for you. And if your hamstrings are tight, you might find you're only getting to here, but gradually working through that is an active stretch. I prefer active stretches. I just think they are better for the muscles, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but moving, I just find, is a way to get a really good stretch. So I would say that is the best one because that is really, really stretching that hamstring all the way from the attachment here because your hamstring goes from the back of the knee and it goes all the way up to the pelvis. So I would say that's a really, really good one to do. And again, if you want to do it standing, then things like the roll downs are really good. You do them with a bent knee. And as we did today, you can straighten one leg at a time like this. That's hamstring stretch. Or if you want to, you can straighten both. If you want to increase it, then you can also straighten the back. Okay, so there's a couple of ones you can do. But what I would say, Terry, is don't do them when you're cold. Make sure you've done a little bit of movement first. So, you know, go out for a little walk or 
if you're doing other exercise, do that first and then add the stretches afterwards, okay? Uh, okay, I'm going to have to go shortly, but I'm just going to check uh, if there were any more questions. Okay, so that was Terry going down the chat. Helen Lees, Helen, thank you very much. Really glad you enjoyed our first session with me uh, after following me for a year. Thank you very much. And thank you for your donation. Really appreciate it. Do come again, won't you? Come next week. And yes, I love the coffee emoji, Helen. Thank you for that. That's wonderful because that is exactly what I go and do after our live session is I go and have a cup of coffee. Um, okay, Tiona. Hello, Tiana in France. Great session, Rachel. Thank you. Uh, most enjoy these Friday lives. Uh, sending you big kiss as well. Thank you, Tiona. Uh, Tony Bryan says, I'm now wearing my stretch band as a headband uh, at Lily Mar. Oh, you're talking to Lily. Okay. <laughs> I love the fact you chat to each other. This is brilliant. Okay. All right, everyone. Hopefully, I haven't missed any thank yous. If I have, Please know that you are always appreciated. I love having you all here on a Friday morning. I will be back the same time next week with another exciting workout. What it will be, you'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with a friend, maybe challenge a friend to do one of these videos with you because you could check each other out on Zoom or FaceTime while you do the session. And... Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely weekend and I'll see you soon. Take care and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.